So when setting up my New Year's resolutions for 2023, I decided that my number one priority would be self-improvement. And over the past month, I've been making minor adjustments to my daily routine. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you five of those that I think can genuinely change your life in less than a month. However, as always, before we get started, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and drop a like because it would be really appreciated for the channel. So when I think self-improvement, the three things that always come to mind is eat better, sleep better, and do regular exercise. But like if you were to achieve all three of those things, your life would change dramatically. I mean, it's simple as that. However, these things are all quite broad. So I've come up with five things that I think you can implement into your daily routine. And hopefully these daily changes will help you feel like I do myself, like a totally new person after a month or even a week, I don't know it's all about routine. And with that, the first thing that I'm gonna say, and honestly, I think I've heard this a million times, is have cold showers. Now, honestly, before this month, I was always like, the only people that would have cold showers in the morning are those that are fighting demons. Like, why are you putting yourself through physical pain first thing in the morning? And the reality is, is that having a cold shower simply just starts that fight or flight system within your body and wakes you up starting the day off as you absolutely should. And the idea of having a cold shower in itself is really scary, especially for someone that is literally scared of cold water, like I hate it. And the way that I've simply broken it into my routine is by having 20 seconds under cold water in between like two hot showers. So it's not that difficult. And in the middle of that, you are very much awake. Like I promise you, it will really wake you up. And number two, and that's to simply reduce the amount of sugar that you're eating. And I mean, look, to cut all sugar out of your diet, in my opinion, is totally impossible. Like, the sugar is in absolutely everything, unfortunately. However, for this, I think the best way to do it is just to remove fizzy drinks and sweet snacks, which basically just stops that fluctuation in blood sugar that you would get from eating those. And the actual positives of cutting sugar out of your diet is so beneficial, like I can't even express it really. I mean, the obvious one is the fact that you're gonna reduce the chances of getting type two diabetes. It, it can help you sleep better because then you're no longer affecting your sleep pattern. It can help stabilize your moods because it reduces chronic inflammation. And also it can help you lose weight, which obviously you don't necessarily need to lose weight, but if that's something you're looking to do, highly, highly recommend. Number three, and that is to exercise regularly. And I know at the start of the video I said, oh, exercise regularly, that's a pretty broad term. But the reality of it is, is that you do need to be exercising regularly. And one way that I'd really recommend this implementing it into your routine is to simply just set aside some time each day to actually do some exercise. And this could simply just be going for a one mile jog each day. Like you don't have to be running 20 miles. I mean, you can run 20 miles if you want, but I mean, it's pretty extreme. Or just simply going to the gym. And again, the benefits of this are genuinely extraordinary. You'll sleep better. You will feel happier because you're releasing more dopamine and you have more dopamine receptors available. You will feel more energized because your body can supply oxygen to your working muscles better and your heart is more effective. And honestly, finding the motivation to actually go out and do exercise can be really tricky, but honestly, it's like rolling a boulder off a cliff. Like once you start realizing the benefits, you'll feel better, you'll want to do it more. And honestly, it's just taking that first step and going out and doing that first little bit of exercise that will make all the difference. Okay, and the last two, and I thought we'd do like almost like a full day plan is to do with your sleep routine. So the first thing I'm gonna say, and I think you guys are gonna think I'm a little bit crazy for this, is just leave your curtains open when you go to sleep. And this is something that I've been doing quite recently and the impacts are crazy. And the reason that you do this is pretty much linked to your circadian cycles, which is basically the idea that you should be asleep when it's dark and awake while it's light. It's your body clock, pretty much. And pretty much when the human body experiences light in the morning, it starts to wake up. And therefore, instead of just having an alarm, which just wakes you up abruptly and you've got to be awake instantly, and basically it just means in the morning you're gonna feel better when you wake up and just be ready for the day. And also, for those of you that say you're not a morning person, it will really help your mood, like I promise you. Like, I used to not be a morning person and I still am not really a morning person, but I'm getting better at it, so yeah. And the final one, and these are two things that are kind of linked together, is simply putting your phone away from you before bed and reading a book instead. And the reason for this is number one, blue light really affects your sleep. So by doing this, you'll improve the quality of your sleep. And also just bring down those anxiety levels just before you go to sleep. So again, really improving your quality of sleep. And this to me is genuinely the most important one of the lot because I cannot stress to you enough. And like even my skin has improved because of this because I'm no longer getting the late night cortisol spikes that cause my outbreaks when I'm sleeping. And also another note is that I think my vocabulary, 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 and, and my general conversation has got better since reading again because I, I don't know, it just has. Just take my word for it. Anyways, look, I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. As you know, I would never recommend you guys anything that I would, don't even use myself. And these are five things that I have in my routine and genuinely have made me feel better over the last like month or so. So I hope you can at least take some of this into your personal life and really get that personal growth that you are looking for yourself this year. But yeah, anyways, as always, make sure you follow my Instagram. I post other stuff on there. Leave any questions in the comments below. And as always, please make sure you like, subscribe, check out my other videos, and yeah, have a lovely day.